Back on the scene for the first time Sent this woman up and left And left him stranded on the deck Of a sinking state of mind The night was pretty as could be Every side of sight to see and I was froggy, set to jump He'd taken one too many lumps And this is what he said to me Man, I like what I see But it don't mean that much to me When you buy that pretty house you wanted And it turns out to be haunted You'll see what I mean yeah, I like what I see Nights looking pretty good to me And poor the bears look cute and softer But they'll rip the high right off you If you distance, you don't keep Now let's get the one thing clear He was not crying in his beer But her had made him kind of wise Opened up his dreaming eyes Now he knows which way to steer The paradise of purchase fine Just read the fine print for your sign Stormy weather tends to toss you You can leave but it's gonna cost you Like a dear best friend of mine Man, I like what I see But it don't mean that much to me When you buy that pretty house you wanted And it turns out to be haunted You'll see what I mean yeah, this is what I see Now it's looking pretty good to me and Polar bears look cute and softer But they'll rip the hide right off you If you distance, you don't keep And so my distance I shall keep Enjoy the view and dodge the green Still I do like what I Um, but what we want to do is just to celebrate Wes and Shamia um, and I worked on this, um, pulling this together with the Zoom and with the photos. And so we were able to get together a few photos and we just want to, this being Wes's birthday is today, and we just wanted to celebrate him um, and just share some some stories, some thoughts, whoever wants to speak. So um, definitely if you have any, anything you want to say. Can we um, allow um, mm -hmm. Weeby to speak since she's the make matriarch oh, yeah. of the Evans family? Absolutely. Uh, can we allow her to go first if you all don't mind? Oh yes, yes, that was the plan. We were going to have the, the eldest speak. <laughs> who knew West the longest. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Mr. Eddie Covington, when he comes on and, yes, TV, absolutely. and the siblings and, and the cousins and the friends and loved ones. So we definitely want to, um, anyone who has anything on their heart that wants to speak. Is Hopi on the um, Zoom? I don't see her. Uh, she did get the invite. She might still be 
she might still be at work. Um, okay. Uh, hey, did you talk to um, Joan? I did not. I sent the uh, the invite to her. Okay. So hopefully she can make it. Hopefully she can make it. Joan, so, who? Best friend. Mm -hmm. She's in, she lives in Boynton. Yep. Yep. Uh, Hope just spoke to her uh, after West Pass and, you know, John and, and Aunt Bess go way, 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 way back. Yeah. yeah. Yep, they do. She was very, very uh, emotional. Oh. So, um, I'm sure she has some stories, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, maybe she can maybe she can get on with us oh that would be great okay I'm gonna text him see if they need some help it shouldn't take that that long with the zoom yeah because once you download it if you know your ID Apple if they have an iPhone they should be able to get in mm-hmm it should be pretty smooth, I, I, I think. Um, I think it should. But I'm so used to using it all the time, and I can understand if it's... If it's Hi, if Weeby. It's, Hi, and Ashley. Jack. I mean, Jackie. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. What are you doing? Um... Waiting to hear all the stories about Wes. <laughs> <laughs> Wes was just such a funny person. So I'm waiting to hear yeah. all of your stories. The funny stories. Yes, the funny stories. Does anyone know uh, how old he would have been today? 54. I think, uh, 54. 54. Uh, yeah, he was right behind um, with Rick and Barry. Really? Oh my goodness. Okay. That's young. It's too young. It's too young. Yeah, way too young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think probably while uh Tim and Mr. Eddie are coming on, we can probably go ahead and get and get started here. Um, since we're 23 minutes past the hour. Um so Aunt Geneva, yes, darling. Start us off and just to share anything that's on your heart about Mr. Well, Wallace. as well, when Wesley was younger, most of the thing he was interested in was comic books. <laughs> he had so many comic books in his room, and he used to sit and watch. He liked Benny Hill. You remember the the, the comedian guy Benny Hill from England. Yes. Yes, and, and he was sitting. You, you, you hear him in that laugh, and you think it was a room full of people. He <laughs> laughed with Benny at Benny Hill. And, and, well, he, he always liked to eat. And I remember when we used to go down and I take Puck, and Bess was trying to get him on a diet, so him and Puck would run all around that um, football field. You know where that football field is right on Glade Road? Yeah. For him and him and I put run all up, oh gosh, for so long around that football field, him trying to lose weight. <laughs> oh my goodness. And he was and he was never, he was never uh, you know, somebody to do but he was more like to himself. Hmm. Him and those comic books. Hmm. And he liked the other books too. And he would draw. He would draw, and, and um, when I spoke to him after my birthday, he told me he had published a book, a comic book, wow. and his own comic book he had published. Really? Yeah. What? And, and you know, and he, when I did talk to him, you know, since Best Pass, and, um, you know, he he's always sounded like he was lonesome so i suggested him you know would he like to get him a dog or, or a cat he mm. said no he ain't had time to walk no no <laughs> 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 but i know 
Bess had two cats, um, Benson and Riley, yes. and they were crazy about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My goodness. But so faith, faith, and, he was faith a, uh, and hope was like his sister, you know. Yeah. yeah I remember, yes. I think this was a New Year's or sometime. We were somewhere and y'all was together. And mm -hmm. we called you guys back. Yep. Yeah. And him and for him and Hope were real close because I remember when when they were younger and Bess had moved from Boca Raton to to um um to Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. And Faith, I mean Hope and, and uh Wesley told her mother said that she didn't have no no bed, they had to sleep on the pillows on the floor. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they had big pillows, but her furniture hadn't come. <laughs> and they were, and you know, you know how little kids talk, but it was telling my mother. And she just <laughs> laughed. But him and Hope was real close. Yes. We actually thought he and Hope were sisters <laughs> and brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> we actually did. <laughs> now you wherever tell, you saw Wesley, you saw Ruth. Hope. As a little child. I used to yeah. tell Ruth that um Bess had kidnapped her daughter. I'm making sound. <laughs> um well, I think Pop Pop is gonna make a sound. Make a big one. He's gonna make it though. Okay. Yeah. So Faith, didn't y'all go to New Orleans? We did. You and, and, and Wesley and, and um unless he's so much turned the camera. And she was saying the guy told her, you know, she was just spelling her name Bess. And he, you know, when he finished talking to her, she said it made sense for her to use her, you know, to spell her whole name out, Bessie. Okay. She said that's she was gonna use it from now on. Wait, who told her that? But what? Some some guy reading reading people in New Orleans when y'all were there. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't remember her getting a reading. I wonder where I was when that happened. <laughs> yes, and he'd be explained to her what her name meant and and um, how beautiful it was. And she said she was going to use it from now on. She's going to start back using her real name. Mm -hmm. Her real name is Bessie May. Mm -hmm. And she after never wanted us to call her that. <laughs> after my, she was named after my grandmother, my mother's mother. Okay. But my grandmother's name was Bessie Lucille. Mm -hmm. And so they named her Bessie May. So where did she get the name Wesley from? Do you do you know? No, I don't know that. We gotta figure that out. Tracy, do you know? Um, I have no idea. Who the hell? No. Did you get whipped cream? So Mr. Eddie will have to uh tell us where the inspiration for Wesley's name came from. <laughs> and what his middle name was too. I'm not I don't I don't even Wesley, um what is it's on the thing, Wesley Ronell. Ronell. Renard or something. Mm -hmm. Ronell, I think. Ronell. And I don't know where none of that came from. <laughs> Ronell. Okay. Oh I I, I I would have messed with him. I didn't like even that. know he had a middle name until I saw it on this paper. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying to see who this is. You looking at Where everybody? Wally? Wally left? No, he's on there, but he's on. No, nah, I'm here with you. Um, my mic is just muted yeah. because um, I'm handling some military obligations this weekend and my background is kind of loud. I don't yeah. want to drown it out the stories of the conversation. Bye, Weavy. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. If Wade done got so big, Lord have mercy. <laughs> all right, Ma. We trying to keep it to Wesley. All right. All right. <laughs> don't, don't take away from my child. So, all right. So you can tell your mom. Be quiet, <laughs> Be quiet, Wally. Be quiet, Wally. <laughs> it's like a little family reunion in here. That's that's I see, I see. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay, so um, and Aunt Geneva, if you want to, if you, if anything else comes to mind, just feel free to to jump in. Um, All right, I will. Okay. Hey, family. Hey. Oh, hey. this Toya. Yeah, I'm at work, so you know. Hi, Toya. Toya. Hey. Oh, hey. Glad to <laughs> Hi, Toya. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Sam. Okay, so we're just going around and we're sharing some thoughts and stories about our dear Wes. Um, Aunt Geneva has shared some thoughts. Um, Wes's father and brother are trying to get on the Zoom. They should be on shortly. So... Who else would like to share something to go next? Okay, well, if nobody wants to, I will. Um, I remember, yes, Wesley as a young child. And as I said previously, uh, when we were young, we thought Wesley and Hope were cousins. (laughs) I mean, were (laughs) siblings because wherever we saw uh, Wesley Hope was there and we would uh, my mom and dad would take us every summer and every uh, Christmas holiday to Florida and so whenever we went there of course Wesley was there and I remember just as mom said Wesley loved comic books comic mm-hmm. books comic books comic books and watching television and um a fond, a memory that I have one time when he came to visit us in New York and he stayed with us for the summer. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in the city, you know, we went outside, we played tag and games of that sort. It was difficult, challenging to get Wesley to come outside and play with the other children because he was... Uh, like a loner and he wanted to just stay and read his comic books and watch his uh television shows so uh weeby would still encourage him and you know to come outside and play with the other kids and as much as he did not want to he finally gave in and he did come outside and we played some games with wesley and the next thing you know, we looked around, Wesley was gone, back upstairs. <laughs> so we were like, let him be if that's what he's content in doing. So that's what he did. But we always enjoyed. Thank you so much, so well. All right. All right, where is this yet? Right, right on the... Hello? And, um, and then, of course, when he became adult, uh, Wesley just had this funny, dry sense of humor always telling these jokes and just making you laugh, laugh, laugh. He was just the sweetest person. Mm -hmm. So I'm just really going to miss him. And after his mom passed, you know, I tried to keep in touch with him. I offered to come down and visit with him, but I believe that he was still grieving and he wanted to be alone. Um, And as much as we try to, you know, get him not to do that, allow us, to help him in the grieving process. He wanted to be alone. So we kind of left him alone and Weeby was the one that stayed in touch with him. So I'm yeah, just we- sorry that I didn't get an opportunity to uh, be in touch with him more. But yeah, because him and Bessie's every um, birthday, they would send me pecans. And yeah. so this time he sent my birthday this year, he uh, sent me the pecans and I called him and I thank him for the pecans, and that's when he was telling me about he had published a book. So he published his comic book. Well, I hope we can find that when we go there to Atlanta, or somebody can find that. So that would be really great had, for us to have. He had no indication like he was sick or nothing, so he was just normal Wesley. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm still driving okay, so and the phone keeps moving. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hello. Okay. Janice, we can hear you. I don't know if you know. 
Oh, okay. Um, okay. Is it? Am I? Should I be mute? Uh, unless you wanted to share, you wanted you wanted to share something. Oh no, no. I I was only responding to the, the fact that my phone had fell. I'm oh. driving. I I had my earplugs on, and I was. Um, I'm doing my best to keep it secure, but it, it keeps falling. So, um, oh, okay. Well, I have a small uh, thing to share. I know when I was the president of the uh, family reunion back in uh, 2013, 14, I believe. And I had reached out to Wes and asked him to come and, you know, be a part of the reunion when it was, um, that's when it was in DC, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, to um, help and, you know, be on a committee, do whatever he like. And um, again, he, like you said, he was grieving and he had shared with me that, you know, he lived alone and he had picked up Wade and he didn't want anyone to see him looking like that. And I said, Wes, really, we're family. Who has not? None of us are string beans right. like we used to be back right. in the day. Right. Right. <laughs> so, so we family. No one is going to judge you, with, you know, about how you look. I mean, we wish we still look like... We were string so beans, but no, we're <laughs> we just not that. Things. So um, that's Janice. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. So um, I just wanted to share that 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 was the last um, conversation I had with him. So I think that was even that was 2014, 2015, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I um, it was just a. a, a uh, call to encourage him to invite him since we hadn't seen him at any reunions in a while. So mm. that's basically what I have to share. And I used to tell him when they, every time I even got to talk to him, I'd tell him about coming, you know, come to pay me a visit or come to the family reunion. And he said he'd think about it. Yeah. But he never, he never showed up. Speaking of the family reunion, the picture that's on the screen now, I believe this is the last one he attended. Um, it is. I think it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this was, what year was Which one this? was that? I that's don't even see a picture. That's the Poconos. Um, Tanisha, when was this? Because this is the one I think you all planned. Well, that was the Poconos. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tanisha, Tanisha stepped away for a sec. Oh, there you go. We can't hear you because you're on mute. Oh, I had worked away. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I, oh, that was the Poconos. Yeah, that's well, the Poconos. That, that, that is. was the Poconos. Yeah, it is. Was, that's uh, 2011, I think. 2011. That is 2011 in the Poconos. Okay. That was, that was 2011 because he, he brought Aunt Beth up. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, she had lost a lot of weight due to her illness. Right. And she may have passed. That was when she found out. That was her out. last reunion. That was her, yeah, last, was her reunion. last reunion. Yes, it was. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and actually, I think she passed December 2012. So, um, okay, so this was 2011. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you see, you all can see him. He's back there in the in the top left in the Poconos, and we had a good time. Mm -hmm. We had a great time that year, um, and we we're we're glad that they were able to make it to that one. But uh, but yeah, we were in Atlanta in twenty sixteen, I think, um, and and unfortunately. Um, you know, he didn't come out, but um, he always knew he was loved, so I'm, I'm sure he knew that. Um, okay, so I think we should hear from Tracy. Tracy's been around a long time. Can you introduce yourself to, to the clan here, please, Tracy? <laughs> Hi, I'm Tracy. Um, I've been friends with Wes since we were 16. Um, we had a lot of the same interests. Um, as Aunt mentioned, Benny Hill, um, Benny Hill, Mighty Python, any um, British comedy that they had on PBS, <clears throat> and Doctor Who 
we all had that in common. Um, I wasn't into comic books like he was, but um, we had a lot of the same interest. In fact, his first guitar, I gave him his first guitar when um, we were in high school. Um, let's see. He was great at doing imitations of people. Um, he would be spot on and you would think that it was the actual person um, that was speaking. He, um, in high school, he would do lots of parodies, um, a lot like what um, Weird Al would do. Um, in college, like every other week, he would send me a new parody. He would give me something to look forward to when I was in Tallahassee. Um, the comic book that your aunt mentioned, I'm not sure if he did one recently, but I know back in 1988, he did do a comic book. Um, he did the, the content, the storyline, and it's called Film Force. So if you look on his Facebook page, you'll see a picture of Film Force. Um, that was a comic book um, storyline that um, he did back in 1988. Mm -hmm. And when we went to his, um, went to the condo um, two weeks ago to start to clean it out, he has hundreds mm -hmm. and hundreds and hundreds of comic books. And they're mm -hmm. all in, they're all in plastic bags. They're all in perfect um, condition. So he was still collecting um, lots of comic books. Um, he and I were both only children and we were both raised by a single mother. So we had that connection um, as well. Um, in 2005, we recorded a CD. Um, so after the call, Faith, I want to make copies and send that to, to everyone. Yes. Yes, a CD doing what? He was singing and he was playing what? guitar. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? You from Booker, Sean? No, I'm from West Palm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what you said. Yeah. That. I'm from West Palm. And then when, when they, they moved here to Atlanta in 87, and then I moved here in 98. But the whole time, we, Wes and I never lost contact. Oh, okay. Okay. So over the, um, can you share how, I think you had mentioned that uh, in the past few years that you all, you, you all kept in touch pretty frequently and you had taken Thanksgiving dinner and I, I thought that <laughs> was a sweet story. Yes, yes. Um, in 1984, um, his mom went to Africa for a month. And I remember telling my mom that year, I said, Wes's mom is in Africa. And my mom said, well, who's going to feed him? He needs to eat something. It's Christmas. So let's fix him a plate. I said, okay. So we fixed him a plate. And that kind of started this tradition. So every year, like when once, once I moved here um, on Thanksgiving, I would invite him over. Um, and then for those Thanksgivings or Christmases that he didn't want to come over, I would just fix him a plate. And every year, I just take him a Thanksgiving plate. So it was like a tradition he and I had started, and we just continued until 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 last year. Oh my! Since nineteen eighty four, I didn't realize this this had been going on <laughs> that long. Oh my god! Yeah, off and on, off and on, because we wouldn't. Oh. Um, Oh, so before was the first year. Okay. And then last year was the the last year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But did you know Jeff? No. That was his wife's friend. Dude. Oh, <laughs> Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Um, I didn't know Jeff, but I knew of Jeff. And when Jeff's mom passed away, um, okay. Wes called me and told me. Oh, because he was when I did speak to him, he was saying that um he was he had been down to visit Jeff and Jeff had been you know they was getting together somewhere and that was you know like that was this year and he was saying but he was going somewhere to meet Jeff. Okay. It's possible that Jeff was coming up here to see him because Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, yeah. Wes had he had gout real bad in his foot. So it made um, walking difficult for him at times. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. 
Was that pretty recently? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm. He was say he was taking medication for um, for gout and for his heart and um, uh, his kidneys. Okay. Well, he had sent me those pecans for my birthday, and I called him back to thank him, and he sounded normal to me. And uh -huh. that was Ju that was in July, July fifth. I well, I got it before my birthday. Yeah, that's that's yeah, July fifth. So he he got you the pecans again, huh? This year. Yeah. Well, she was in them. She sent them to me every birthday. Three bags of pecans. I still got some of them too. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I think goodness. she said them pecans cost what twenty nine or thirty nine dollars because it's, it's a it's a big bag, and I got three bags in the box. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Weezy, you love your pecans, man. Yeah, if I should pecans and peanut soup. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Sure. Love pecans stuff. Well, thank you so much, Tracy, for sharing. Definitely, if anything else comes to mind. Yes, um, thank you. We, I'm we glad he had you in yes. his life. Yes, yes. Yes, we're so happy that he had you in his life and you were there yeah. to support yeah. him. And mm -hmm. his, you know, we're sorry that, that we didn't know where of that. Is your mother alive? Thank no, you and your family. My mother passed away in September. Yeah, I was I was about to say, tell you to tell him thank you for you know for making him Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She always liked him. She always said that he should be um, a DJ because she always liked his phone voice. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been on the radio. <laughs> and, and you know, and he knew I like Luther Vandross. He bought me his, uh, uh, what do you call that? The CD. He brought you a Luther Vandross CD? Mm-hmm. And he and he had, and he got a uh, James Brown. He, he bought um James Brown and Luther. He gave me the Luther and I like the James Brown too. So he gave me that when he got one for his father. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he was definitely he he knew a lot about music too. He a music head, um, from what I knew. <laughs> Um, so he could have been a yeah. DJ just off of the strength of everything that he knew about music. Um, uh oh, look who's here! Look who done showed up in this room. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Hope. Hi, Hope. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Oh, 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 look at this Hope. <laughs> yes. Hey. Oh my goodness, round thing like your mama. Love um, you too. Oh, gosh, <laughs> she's going like your mama. Yes, she do. <laughs> 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 so, hope your we... birthday was a couple of days ago. Whose birthday yeah. was a couple of days ago? Oh, mom's. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. November two, November eighth. Yeah. Oh, and we didn't wow. forget happy you, Jackie. Oh, happy birthday, Jackie! Well, yeah, is she on the thing? Yes. I oh, think Jackie, Jackie you're too. muted, Mom. And Toya, Toya's <laughs> birthday too. Sneak off to get her a snake. Toya too. Yeah, Toya too. Happy belated birthday, all you November birthday. birthdays with Wes. Yeah. <laughs> All the Scorpios. Yes. Uh, happy birthday. And again, we're celebrating Wes's birthday today. And Angie's birthday coming up the 17th of this month. Oh, Angie? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Angie. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday, cousin. <laughs> yeah. Yes, happy birthday, y'all. <laughs> so, so, Hopi, um, we were just going around whoever had something on their heart that they wanted to share. 
uh, about our dear West. We just heard from Tracy, who um, they met when they were 16, I think, Tracy, right? Back in high school. Um, yes. What high school did you go to in Palm Beach? I don't even know where it was in the high school. North Shore. North Shore. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's around anymore. It's not. Uh-uh. They closed <laughs> it in 1988. By the time I was in high school, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, North Shore. The they place. always had Roosevelt, didn't they? I don't remember. It's that. still there. Roosevelt is there, Hopi? It's mm-hmm. still there. Hope went to Atlantic. Uh, yes. Atlantic is still hanging in. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Hopi? Hey! How are you doing? I am awesome. How are you? Okay. It's good to, to hear your voice. You too. Good to hear yours too. God bless you. <laughs> so, um, Hope I can put you on the spot if you wanted to go next, or did you want some time to acclimate yourself to the to the lovely warm room here? What, what, I'm sorry. What are we doing? We're We're sharing. Just, it's just informal, just anything on your heart, any memories you have, any any stories um, that resonate with you. Um, I know you and Wesley go way back, and it's yeah. funny that he was saying before you got on that apparently they used to think you and Wes were brother and sister. There you go, Jackie. Yeah, no, keep Jackie, what did you say that y'all thought Hope and Wes were, were, were siblings? Yes, Hope, because every time we came down to visit you all during uh, the summers, the, it was always you and Wesley were the little ones. Tom and Dodie were, of course, older, but um, it was you and Wes. Yeah. Wherever we saw Wes, there was Hope. Wherever we saw Hope, there was Wes. Yeah. Because and Grandma then, used to watch you right. all. So in the beginning, we thought yes, well, Wesley was one of our rules kids, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I used to I tell I used to tell that. Ruth. I used to tell Ruth that um this has kidnapped her daughter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. sure did. So what was that like, Hopi, growing up with, with Wes? Oh my gosh, please don't get me started. Um, I don't know if I can get through this without getting emotional. So go ahead to the next person. That's all right. You here with family? That's family. What it's for. Yeah. yeah, we always get emotional with you. Yeah. I'm already so it's all about seeing seeing a picture yeah. of Aunt Beth. It's like, oh my gosh, I just don't even want to talk about yeah. it. So. Yeah. All right, yeah. you can let your emotions out. You're here with family, and we're gonna support you and love you. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Go on to the next one. Let me let me get it together. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, Faith. Mm-hmm. This, this is Janice. I also wanted to share that when that conversation that I had with Wes, we were talking about the um, ancestry um, work on Bess had done. Mm-hmm. And that he wanted to, you know, eventually start coming to the family reunions and share that. And I had um, talked to him about um, how Roberta had started doing some our ancestry work as well. And um, that they were going to start collaborating. So I'm hoping that we can, you know, get that information and start sharing it at the family reunions. Yes. So that would be really great. Absolutely. That would be good. That would be good. Hopefully we can find where they left off. Right. That would be, you know, great that we, if we could, you know, get our hands on that mm-hmm. information. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Because we know she did a lot of work with that. So that would be, and, um, and so the, sort of a Roberta, so, you, you know, both um, information you know, all that information collaborated together would be great for the um, family. Yes. 
I would love to. I think so many of us, we'd all like to know where our roots, how far back we can go and, and find out. Um, yeah. You know, we only know about a few generations back. Right. Um, so uh, definitely we want to look into that for sure. For sure. So. Hey, where did these photos come from? These are some nice photos. So you should recognize some of these, right? Oh, I definitely do. This one here. Tell us about them. So um, yep. I think the last trip that Wes and Aunt Bess went on was all of us, well, uh, us going to New Orleans. So it was um, me and Hope and Aunt Bess and Wes. Um, Aunt Bess had some friends that gave her a timeshare in New Orleans. And believe it or not, because Tracy just said that... Um, I best had went to Africa for a month. I didn't. I don't think I even knew that. Or I think she, I think she knew. Or I think I think I knew, but I didn't know she was there that long. But I know she traveled the whole world, but she had not been to New Orleans. <laughs> so, um, so we all we went together, and that's that's our little crew there on the right, um, and so we went and we had. Wow. A great time. Uh, and we did the second line with our best. Yes, we did the second line. Um, we had a, a ball, and you know anybody that knows Wes knows that he he adored his mother. He, him and Aunt Bess had just a such a beautiful relationship. So. Um, yeah, you know, he was there every step of the way um, on that trip, making sure he was comfortable and, and helping out with her. And so we would go around during the day, all all four of us, and hang out and eat a bunch of food. You know, that's what you do in New Orleans. And then in the evening, uh, they would go back and he would stay with her um, in the evening because she needed to rest. And then Hope and I would gallivant. <laughs> I'll leave some of those stories out. That's that's another time. That's another call. But um, <laughs> but um, but they were. It was such a it was such a good time. Our our little crew there in in New Orleans. So that's where some of those, that's where those pictures came from. And this picture Tracy shared. Um, and Tracy also, I think you said that you bought Wes his first guitar when y'all were in high school. I had two guitars, and on Friday nights we had this little routine that we would do. And we would, um, I go over to their apartment, and he ordered pizza, and we would just play guitar together. And I had like a little keyboard, a Casio keyboard, and we would just sit there and just play um, together. When we were in college, we had this idea that we were going to start a band, and it was going to be me and Wes and another friend of ours. We never had rehearsal. All we had was just a name and just ideas, but you know. What was the name? Um, what was the name? You can't get past that. <laughs> Society page. Okay. Yeah. What's the who? Page. You heard it, Hopi? No. What was it? Society page. Society page. <laughs> Oh, That's in the okay. newspaper. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, because wasn't he also learning the electrical guitar? Yes. Tracy? Yes, he was. Yeah. So did he get pretty good at it? He got very good at it. Oh, wow. Yeah, he did. He got very good at it. He, oh, did, he you also, did, you, I, did you guys also do open mic? No, no, we didn't. But when um, I think once he went to um, an open mic in Fort Lauderdale to do uh, comedy and he met Carrot Top and he was just saying how difficult it was to do open mic stand up uh, comedy. And he says, I'll never do it again. It was so hard. Uh, 
I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I that is, but I think somebody's, I don't know if it's their TV that's playing or a radio. Um, but okay, yeah, Tracy, I'm not sure if you were finished sharing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry, I had to jump up for a second. Uh, so we learned that a little known West fact that he was in a band called Society Page. I'm not surprised. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it helped me. Were you on when Tracy said that he recorded a CD a few years ago? Not that long ago. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, tell, well, I, well, I don't want you to repeat it, but okay. Mm, I think you, you, did you say 2016, Tracy? Re no, 2005. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. Was it just him solo or was it with the band? Nope, just him. Just him. Yeah. Awesome. He, did his, he, did, he did his own recording, his own producing, his own writing. Um, he's got, when I say probably hundreds of songs, he's got Oh my a goodness. Massive amount of songs. But um, for this CD, he recorded, I think it was maybe seven or eight songs. Um, and he actually got it copywritten too. So he, he went through the whole process. Really? What's your favorite song that he did? Winter Rain. That's the Tell first us about song. It. Oh, um, I don't know. He was he had some really deep lyrics and I think that was what I liked the most um he never gave himself enough credit when it came to his his singing voice um it was just a real soothing song so the other night when I came back from his apartment I just I really wanted to hear his voice so I didn't have too you know too many um messages on my voicemail so the cd I just I listened to it for about maybe two or three hours and it was just very soothing just to hear him sing, um, you know, just a chance to get to hear, hear, hear his voice again. That's lovely. Oh, my that goodness. Is lovely. Oh, if you get a chance, I don't know how hard it is to burn CDs now with the new computers don't even have CD drive on them. Old computer, so I can, I can burn it. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you have an old computer. Okay. okay yeah. <laughs> So I'm looking at my computer now, and I'm like, I, I wouldn't know what. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> oh, wow. I would love to hear that. So uh, what was the name of the album? Do you um, he didn't actually have a, a title. Um, I, I, I call it Winter Rain because that's the first, the first song on there. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. Um, Tracy. Uh, Tim, I, I think we have Wes's brother is on. Tim, are you there? I see a little box here. Tim and Mr. Eddie. Okay, they might still be getting their audio um, together. Okay, well, let us know because we can't hear you. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Okay. All right, so we'll hear from them in a moment. In the meantime, Hope, are you ready? No. <laughs> uh, I know you have some. I know you have some stories. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> I don't even have my Kleenex box near me. Use your use your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay anyone else in the meantime wow 
while we um I just got a message actually from Tim that he's in a noisy spot. So um he's trying to connect. Yeah, I see it there. It says connecting to audio. Okay, let me text him and see if he can find a spot. Let's see, can you hear us? <laughs> That's what I'll text. Oops, can you hear us? All right, so while he's, we're waiting to get that audio situated. I can go while we're waiting. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, cut. Hi. Um, so even though I am younger than um, Wes and uh, Bess, um, I have such great memories because we always used to see them every other year at the family reunion and then in, sometimes in between because at my parents' house we would have like a big Thanksgiving that kind of became a mini reunion like um, in the off years and um, Aunt Bess and Wes would come up. And um, so then as I got older and I was probably college age and my friends and I went to Atlanta just on like a girl's trip, but I could not leave Atlanta without going to see Aunt Bess and seeing Wes. And I brought all my friends there. We sat up in the living room. We, the cats were running around us. And I did that <laughs> twice actually. Like, and my friends would always say like, that's so good that you go see your family. I'm like, oh, I cannot just not go. And, and they know I was in Atlanta and I didn't come by. First of all, Weeby would have been like, you didn't go see our best. You didn't go see West. Um, but I was just used to always being around them. And um, anyway, just from, like I said, the family reunions and Thanksgiving. So I'll always um, remember that time that I went down there and they treated my friends, of course, like family too. So, Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't know that, Davina. Thank you. Yeah, I got to try to find those pictures. I'm sure Weeby probably has it because we sent pictures of, of me oh, yeah. and Wes to grandma, but I'll oh. try. I mean, it was a while ago. So I, I looked through Facebook and see if I can find them. Yeah. And yeah, when you find them, maybe if, if you wanted to post them to, um, to, to the, the page. page. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be real cool. Um, it's just so funny that Davina, you would bring that up because our parents, your mom, uh, Faith, and of course my mom, they instill so much in us about keeping in touch and being around your family. So I also had friends that had relocated to Atlanta. So I went to go and visit them. So of course I had to go by and see on best while I was in Atlanta. So when I came and I came with my friends and it was like a whole car load of this, my kids plus my friend and her kids. And so when we got to Aunt Bess's house and she's showing me the house and showing me everything, her and Wesley are there and they're just smiling and welcoming us. Oh, they're so glad we came over. And then when we get to Aunt Bess's room, what? who's hiding in the room but Aunt Ruth? Oh my God, oh. it's like, we were so excited because we always love being around each other. And it was like such a happy time in my life that I remember because I always loved seeing my aunt Mom, and their uh, children. I just it was, we can't yeah. see on the camera face to the TV instead of oh. your Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just getting emotional now just thinking about it. So I don't know if I need to flip my camera. That's what you're saying, Mia? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't even know how to do that. So y'all just hang in there and bear with me. But anyway, it was just so special because... You know, just seeing our roof on Bess, on Wes, and we were all there together. It was almost like a little mini family reunion. Everybody was so happy to see each other. And it's just those moments like that just will forever be in my heart because I know how the family bond was so important to our parents on Estelle, 
my mom, your mom, Uncle Pete, it was so important for all for them to instill in us that we needed to keep in contact with each other. And as cousins, I think we've lost that a little bit. So we need to make sure that we continue to do that because those siblings loved each other. I they everybody for some reason would get together at my house on Thanksgiving or whoever, what have you. And I remember one year that we did that, as Davina was saying, and Aunt Bess and Wesley came, and then Aunt Ruth was here, Uncle Pete was here, and then they called Aunt Estelle, and then Aunt Estelle, she had Uncle Alex bring her over because they all love being around each other. And it just filled your heart just seeing the love that they have for each other and the love that they have for us. So I want all of you that are on the call to remember that and please make sure that we continue that and that we teach that for our children and our grandchildren. That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Absolutely. Amen. So true. Amen. At the same time, my, our cousin came from um, Newark. Uncle Boy's daughter, Janet. You remember uh, Davina? They, li they lived in um, Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You know, she, they came to your mother's funeral, to um, uh, my mother's funeral over there. Uh, and her husband's name was Alan. No, I, I don't know. And my cousin came, my um, cousin came from Cincinnati on Eva's son. They all came over when my mother passed. Yes, I remember that. I remember that, Ma. The kids probably don't remember that because they probably were very young. But again, you all instilled so much of being about family and us that we were just, that was just second nature to us as always being around family. So yes, I remember um, grandma had one uh, brother, Uncle Boy. And so uh, his family also got in touch with us and we all also hooked yeah. up together. You're talking about Janet. And then when yeah. she passed, her children still stayed in touch with us as well. So we just have to remember to continue that as a family. Yes. Yeah. And we used to go to, to the family union in Baltimore and uh, we would be at um Jack Nellick's house and we didn't have enough room. We slept wall to wall. But we <laughs> had fun. Yes, we did. We love yeah. being around our cousins. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. And when you get ready to leave all of them crying, didn't want to leave. Them. <laughs> I know we yeah. used to cry because nobody wanted to leave. We wanted to stay there with our cousins. They wanted us to stay or uh, what have you. So and Wes was part of that too as well. Oh, wow. so, they mm -hmm. all would be crying when wanna leave one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, they were all great memories. All great memories. That's true. Very true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Mary. Yes. So um Oh, I got a story. Uh, who's that? Oh, oh, me. Me. Go ahead. Tell your story. oh, oh, that's hope. Okay. <laughs> um, well, everybody knows well, Aunt Bess was a diva, right? So we know Aunt Bess was a diva. And oh, I'm, I'm, I forget how old Wes and I were at the time. We might have been still in high school. And Aunt Bess and Wes lived in Boca Raton in an apartment complex. And next to the apartment complex was an airport. And Aunt Bess was dating this white guy who was driving a Porsche. He was driving, I remember, a black Porsche. He was driving a black Porsche. So he had a plane. He had a plane. Oh. And he invited, yes. And he invited Aunt Bess and Wes, and they invited me. So we go to the Boca Raton airport. We get on his plane, little small plane, two seats in the front, two seats in the back. And we are flying all over Florida. 
So we're all over the Everglades. We're flying in this man's airplane. And um, Wesley gets scared. So, so Wesley gets scared. And uh, so we decided to come back. And um, it was just. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that story. I was in the plane. Yeah. <laughs> he had his own plane at Boca Raton Airport, and we went flying around Florida. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It was him and my best in the front, and it was me and Wes in the back. Oh, and he my would go God. low. Yeah. And so when we were over the Everglades, you could, like, see the Everglades because he was flying, you know, he was flying low. Yeah. Yeah. And and Wes Wes got the heebie jeebies. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. He did get me. <laughs> yes, he did. So we came back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tell us another story. Oh wait, wait, give me a moment. Go on to somebody else. I'll come up with something. <laughs> well, I found this picture. In, in this scrapbook that um and I, I forgot I, I I forgot to look at the scrapbook but if you can see on my video I'm holding it up to the camera um oh my gosh I would have put it in the slideshow if I would have remembered where to find it but uh that's Wes always had on shades huh <laughs> 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 Being Mr. Cool Guy. <laughs> but that's that's Wes and uh our mom Ruth. Yeah. That's Arn. And then there's Barry there. Yeah. And our brother LD. This is down in Del Rey. Mm -hmm. But Wes spent mm -hmm. a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's in the backyard there. Um, I have a, a story of the the last time I was in Atlanta, I think, um, and saw Wes. Um, I wanted to come by the house, and, and I was in Atlanta for something. And so I said, hey, you know, I'll come by there and, and chat it up with you or whatever. And he said, well, let's go out to dinner or something. So we went to eat at this place. I think it had bison burgers or something somewhere downtown in Atlanta. And, you know, everybody knows Wes is just hilarious. Like you could just sit and talk and you vacillate between laughing and then going real deep, like talking about the ills of society and whatever, like, you know. And so dinner, we were, we were sitting there eating for four hours, running our mouth. Then we finally left the restaurant and we stood outside, no lie for another eight hours. Yeah. And talked. He got a boot on his car. <gasps> we were so busy running our mouth <laughs> that we didn't even notice that he was supposed to move the car out the parking lot or something. Um, but we just spent just in in for 12 hours, like, just talking to him. Yeah. Um, it could probably could have went another 12 more, like, you know, and that's, there's not everybody that you can just, just sit and, and have engaging conversation um, just ongoing like that. He was just so interesting and so brilliant and could literally speak on, on any, any mm -hmm. topic. Um, and so uh, we we really we really enjoyed ourselves and and, and talked all night. Um, and so I also found in this this is like this is a scrapbook that um, Aunt Ben made for me when I graduated from UCF from college. And she was really into scrapbooks. Like she she made a lot of scrapbooks. She was yeah. almost like a family historian. You know, everybody knows she was always taking pictures and just very artsy, craftsy type person. Um, and so she made this scrapbook and she had at the end, like different ones write me a letter. Um, 
and unbeknownst to me, like she surprised me with this. I didn't know she'd been going around to everybody and getting them to, to write me a letter to like wish me congratulations. So of course, here come West's letter, and it's just it's just ridiculous. Um, and it's short, so I would I would like to share that if y'all don't mind. Um, I haven't looked at this in a while, but let's see if I can take the page out of here. So this is so this is letter that he sent, and it's in here and it's laminated. And so he says, Miss McGinley, we here at the Evans Family Conglomerate are pleased with your recent graduation and anticipate great things from you in the future. You have proven for some two decades now to be a very valuable asset to the firm, <laughs> and to me personally. We feel with the greatest confidence that you will climb every mountain, swim every stream, and, and of course, invoke the right to instruct unsuitable boyfriends to call Tyrone immediately and without hesitation. You do, after all, <laughs> deserve only the best. Fortune and fame and unprecedented artistic achievement await you. And once you have claimed these things, please rest assured that we here at the Evans Family Conglomerate will be at your doorstep, arms extended and palms upturned, in the hopes of sponging off some of that cheese, since you will by that point be making crazy bank. One of us may even ask for a kidney. <laughs> Too soon to fail. We'll keep you posted. Uh, sincerely, Wesley Covington, cousin Georgia chapter. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> that is hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> It's typical West, like y'all know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's typical West. <laughs> it's yeah. very on brand. Yeah, he had that humor. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I have another story. Okay, good. <laughs> um, oh, I don't remember how, I think we were younger than teenagers. But anyway, I was staying with um, our best in West at their apartment in Boca Raton again. And across the street from their complex was Florida Atlantic University, FAU. Mm -hmm. And Wesley and I are just hanging out, doing whatever. So I don't know what possessed us to go on the campus of FAU, but we did. So we go to the campus of FAU, hanging out, just doing whatever. And the next thing we know, we hear some music. So we follow the music. So we get to this built the, uh, this door, this building, whatever. And there's this white guy and this white girl hanging out outside, just laughing and joking or whatever. So we kind of just kind of meander our way inside of this room, this room, this hall or whatever. And come to find out, Shaka Khan was in there giving a concert. <laughs> what? And I think I, was she still with Rufus? Because there was a whole band behind her. So Rufus and Shaka Khan are giving a concert on FAU. Wesley and I found a way to get into this room and just started having a really good time. And here Shaka Khan is giving her concert, and she has a liquor bottle on the stage. So every once in a while, she'd take a swig <laughs> from her liquor bottle. And me and Wesley just thought that was the coolest thing. <laughs> we, just, we just thought that was the coolest thing. So we just had a good, good old time with Rufus and Shaka Khan at a concert at Florida Atlantic University. Wow. How did y'all get into the concert? Some way we finagled our way into the room. I don't know if no, we snuck in, because we sure didn't buy a ticket. We didn't have any money or whatever, right? And so some way, somehow, we snuck in, or mm -hmm. I don't know how we got in. But we got into this concert with Rufus and Shaka Khan at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton. Kids, just two little kids.
<laughs> well, I'm glad y'all knew who Shaka Khan was and y'all were able to appreciate it because, you know, some people would be like, who is that lady? Like, you know, so I'm glad y'all had that good time. A good time was had by all. <laughs> <laughs> so that y'all, I guess y'all, y'all got into a lot of stuff like that. Wandering yeah, around. we worked together a lot, you know, because I, um, Grandma used to keep us, me, Wes, and Barry. You know, she would keep us all together, and then I would go and you know and visit them at our best's place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we used to hang out quite a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Which one y'all drove the car? Who who was responsible for driving y'all around to get in the mischief? Uh, well, back in the day, I guess what was the name of that car? She had this bubble of a car that was called a Pacer. Does anybody remember the Pacer? It was like a bubble. It was a burgundy. And uh, it was it was I mean, the pacer. Yes, yeah, you that with a beer. That's me, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you remember our best had a burgundy pacer? Yeah, yeah that's what she had when we were in Connecticut. Okay, she drove it up here. Yeah, we it was like a bubble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the pacer. Yep. I remember that too. Time I go. <laughs> so did Wes used to drive the pacer? No, no, no. This was before we were driving age. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, where were we with Aunt Vess and Wes and we was driving the pacer and we was uh, going across the train track? You remember that, Aunt Geneva? Where were we going? We were going to Connecticut. Oh, that's when we was going to uh, the family reunion in Connecticut. Yeah, in Connecticut. Do you know that's when Barry and Barry jumped in the water and couldn't swim <laughs> in the pool? Yes. <laughs> uh, I remember the pacer. It was a dare. Somebody yeah. dared him to do it. Yeah, and he, he dared did him to jump, and he jumped in the water. Yep. Sure did. <laughs> that sounds just like Barry. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just like Barry. Somebody did. Yeah. Him. He jumped in the darn pool, and we all got in trouble. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> but Jackie, you know Barry. I mean, uh, Barry was somebody like Wesley. You know how Barry used to read the books. Curious George, he would, sit, he would tell, he, he you would think he was reading. He wasn't a reader but age. And he, whatever he was saying, that's just what the word said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. But him and, him, and Wesley was, him and Wesley was close, too, because I remember when um, um, Beth sent them up here. But they came, and the plane landed late. And I wasn't able to get to LaGuardia to pick them up. But when I did get out there, they were sitting under the desk. And the people that gave them so much food and so many cards to play with. Him and Wes <laughs> sitting under the desk where, you know, the people would sell the tickets. Mm -hmm. And they were playing cards and they had to bought them so much food. <laughs> that was yeah. Wesley and Barry. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I remember that, Mom. Uh, hello, good folks. How y'all doing? Hey, hey, cousin. It's good to hear your voice. Yeah. Good and I must say, uh, Wes definitely was a good guy. Yeah. Uh, and all I said, y'all been saying is true. He uh -huh. did love comic books, and you could not get him away from comic books, but it was a joy yeah. growing up with him. Uh, and we had fun growing up. Yes. Um, so I just want I just want to let y'all know, Jackie, you're right. We were a tight family. We didn't. We didn't want to leave each other. You're right. You're exactly right. You know. You made. You made me feel like a movie star because we <laughs> want to stay with each other so much. You know? Yes, it's All true. Right? And, and it is so important. I agree with you that we need to, you know, stick together as family. Um, just wanted to chime in and say yes. I we will miss him. I'm 56 years old. Wes is 54. You know, um, and it's just so good that we can enjoy life and we can talk to each other. 
Uh, yeah. Life is precious and life is short, right? Mm -hmm. And we should be taking the time and spend the time wisely. So I just want to chime in and say, it's so good to see your faces. I'm on a road driving, as you can see, on the right here, right? You're trying to get some, trying to get a good picture, you know? Um, but it's going. Auntie, definitely, you're looking good, giving out words of encouragement. I appreciate you guys so much. Be blessed. Yeah. We'll talk soon. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you, Thank Alex. <laughs> I have something to say. Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, Ashley. Yeah. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> so, Hi, Ashley. memory I have is that, um, well, those of you who know me know that I love the pool. I love water. I love to swim. Wesley was the one who taught me how to swim. What? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, also, the last time before um, Aunt Bess passed away, um, Auntie and Grandma and we drove to Atlanta, and uh, he was like, you know, let's leave the old folks. We go go hang out. He took we went to the pool at some I think it was like a rec center, and we went to the pool and we played basketball and stuff, and it was so much fun. He was like, listen, we're not gonna hang out with these old people. I'm gonna show you where the young people hang out at. Who y'all was calling old? Not me. I wasn't included in that, was I? <laughs> but yes, he was the one who taught me how to swim at one of the, I don't even remember what family reunion it was, but I was really young. I was probably, I was, probably wasn't even a teen, uh, in my teens yet. Probably like about nine, eight years old. He mm -hmm. taught me how to swim because I was in the pool and I was just walking around. He was like, you don't know how to swim. I said, no, nobody taught me how to swim. He was like, all right, well, I'm going to teach you because you can't be having y'all here walking around in the pool looking like a lost child. <laughs> 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 what was his method for teaching you how to swim? Like, I, I mean, how did that go? I don't even remember. I barely remember how to swim now, but... <laughs> but um. I almost drowned a few times. He was like, listen, you can't keep putting your head underwater. He was like, <laughs> All I remember, I kept coming up a whole bunch of water in my face. I was just choking. He was like, listen, no, no, no. He was like, first, I'm going to teach you how to float. He taught me how to float. He was like, once you learn how to float, you'll know how to swim. And yeah, eventually I learned. <laughs> That's so funny, Ashley. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that story. That's a good story. <laughs> Wes had his moments with it. He had, you know, with everybody. With everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Um, I think I, I thought I saw Tim on camera a second ago. Hello. And he's I just saw him in his, his video. Yeah, I saw him before. But... That's Mason. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, please, we cannot get them, him and his dad. Uh, Tim, can you hear us? He's been hanging in there the whole time. I just don't know. Um... If his audio, maybe if I can, um, Shamia, can't you call, like, if, if can we call someone and, and have them speak on the Zoom? Like, I've never, I think there's a way to do that. He's from, is he muted? Can he unmute himself? He doesn't appear to be muted. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't seem, it, it only, it's only showing his, that the camera isn't on, but I'm not seeing audio next to his. Right. So it doesn't seem like he's connected through audio. But, um, Davina, I think there's a way to call, people can call in, right? I think there's a number I can, I think I emailed it to you, Faith. Okay. Let's yeah, see. he has to choose yeah. it because I chose that first and then I logged off and then I, logged on to Zoom and then I was able to see a video and then also audio. No, but um, there's another option I'm going to actually just dial by phone as well. You won't be able to see us, but we could just hear hear him and talk to him. Right. Oh, I, let me see if I can send that to him. Um, 
in the meantime, anyone else have uh, something on your heart? Hope you have, you you've got some more stories for us. Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I said, Wesley and Hope, brother and sister. See? <laughs> yeah. The that is so the, funny. I never the knew story, that. The stories speak for themselves. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Y'all were joined at the hip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I don't know if um if we'll be able to hear from um from Tim. He says he's on the call. I just texted him to see if he was able to hear us. He hasn't responded yet. Oh, okay, Tracy, you just text him and he said, uh -huh. okay. Or even. You send him the telephone number and the meeting ID and password because he can call in an 800 number. And since I emailed it to you, I'm going to email it again. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, because it would have been. Um... It's in the same, the original link, but I'm going to reply so you can see. See it again. Oh, you put it in the chat. Oh, that's fine. I was gonna send it to your email. <laughs> it might be easier. Oh no, I see. I see it in my email. Um, you want me to put it in the chat? I can put it in the chat. Let's, let's see. Thanks, Tanisha. Yeah, she sent it to me. Okay, so let me tell him you can also call in. Yeah, and I hope that Mr. Eddie um, Wes's dad is there. He's 84, um, and I had a chance to talk to him um, and, uh, you know, would love to get his perspective and hear some, hear where his name came from. Hopey, do you know where Wesley got his name? Oh. No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, um, Aunt Bess named him Wesley for oh, what was it? What was it, Aunt Bess? Um, oh, I did know. Okay, you gotta tell us when he comes to you. Okay, so I just picked on the number. Probably some movie store. Mm hmm I'm sure there's a good meaning behind it. Who was it actually? Because because Aunt Geneva is Aunt Geneva, you still here? Yeah, she's still there. Oh, because I know, I mean, my name is was from that movie star Deborah Lee. Remember the actress back then? It was an actress we called Deborah Lee, and that's where my name came from. And then my brother Charles' name came from an uh, actor too. And I can't remember his name was Charles something. Aunt Geneva, you remember that? No. <laughs> yeah, my name. Uh huh. My name came from Deborah Lee. She was some actress way back then. And uh, from what I was told, that was a long time ago. You didn't look the lady. Okay. Huh? You didn't look the lady up to see who the actress was. Well, I mean, I do remember. I remember Deborah Lee. She was an actress, though. I mean, when I was younger. Oh, okay. I looked her up. Yeah, there is definitely an actress named Deborah Lee. Yes, there is. Mm hmm And mom, that's how you all name your children because I know I was Jacqueline, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. They named us after, after actresses. That's after right. Actresses. They sure did. So where did Wesley come from? 
<laughs> what they buy is something this <laughs> Oh so my god. Maybe something on best encountered in California. We don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah, be. that's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm so yeah. glad it wasn't Donald Trump. You so glad it wasn't who? Donald Trump. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's leave politics out of this. <laughs> yes, please do, please. <laughs> Aunt Geneva. Yeah. Wasn't um, Aunt Bess living in Miami with Eddie when she had Wesley? Yeah. She was going to college. Okay. And she was living with our cousin, um, um, Roseanne and Freddie and Thelma. And who were they? They were my, they were my was my father's cousins. My father's cousins. Oh, was, oh your father's one, cousin. One name was Ruth, one name was Desi, one name was Thelma, and, and, and their mother name was Annie Gore. Oh, they so, you talking, so you talking about cousin Ruth. You mean her? No. That was it. Um, you you talking about Bill Mother? No, that was my father's sister Ruth in Jacksonville. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, 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 her. Huh. <laughs> no, not her. We met her when we went down to the family reunion in Jacksonville. Cause um, my cousin that um she was living with, that's where my, my mother stayed when my father was in the hospital down there. He died in the hospital in um, uh, Miami, Jackson Memorial. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she was living with, with Thelma and her, her husband. And they had a daughter named Roseanne and a son named Freddie. Well, Aunt Geneva, where they at? I ain't never heard of them. Me either. We never heard of none of them people, Mommy. <laughs> I guess they're still there. I know um, Desi worked for um, Delta Airlines for years. Well, they're relations. How come we don't know them after all of these years? Your mother, your mother would know them. Oh yeah, I'm sure. So are my father's cousins. Oh, your father's cousins, yeah. And we used to go down and visit them. Just the way, the way your parents took you. <laughs> And we took you all, that's just the way my father did. We'd always, yeah. we'd always step yeah. up with family. We sure did. Yeah. We sure did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Aunt Geneva, how we used to pack in that, uh, uh, what was that street? Don't tell me. In the Bronx. My oh, mother man. and all of us. Huh? Call Beth, it was, it was Beth Gate. Beth Gate, wasn't it? No, but we see the Carter Avenue. Carter oh, Avenue. Right. Carter Avenue. Oh, okay. I remember Bathgate really well. Yeah. I remember Bathgate, but Carter yeah. Avenue was before. <laughs> Man, so we, my mother and I, we used to come up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We didn't care. We didn't care where we slept long as we was with family. That's yeah, right. Sure. Yeah. No complaints. We had a no complaints. Time. We just enjoy one another so much. I'm yes, we you. did. Yes, and we got to get back to that, guys. That's we so got to get back to that. You know, with all of this stuff going on, guys. You know, it's I, just so never, cool. I just never forget when we go to Baltimore and we get ready to leave everybody crying, even me and Jack crying. Yes. <laughs> Yes, oh my gosh, and those were the days. Yeah, great. those were the days. Our roof would be there yeah. with with yeah. her kids, and mom would come yeah. with her kids. Everybody with their family, and we just wanted to stay there like the world didn't exist. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to stay with each other. <laughs> it was so funny, you know. We were children. We just wanted to yeah. be with our cousins and our that's family. Sure, right. did. that's so true. Mm -hmm. That it's is so, so true. Funny. It's so true. Mm -hmm. So, Mom, you know, you're the last one of the family. So we got to get this all written down because once you're gone, it's like we don't have our history. So I've been trying yeah. to get this recorded so that 
we know our history and we know where we came from. You just mentioned cousins and family that we have no idea about. So right. I need somebody to help me get this all recorded and jot it down so that we will be able to then hand it off to our children and our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tanisha! But Tanisha? I think she's still on. I did say I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Your father's, I mean, your well, your mother's family was in Valdosta. Um, um, what was um, Ola May? She had a brother. There were always, there were, we never called him a brother anyway. <laughs> Gloria, Gloria and brother. That was um, um, the two children. Yeah, they're still in, uh, Gloria's still in Georgia. She is. Um, I think I talked to her not too long ago. Um, I don't know if I ever met her brother though, but I've heard she had a brother. I think uh, I feel like his name started with a B. I think. Yeah, and Miss Miss Boise Newsom, you know who that is. I felt like that's what you were going to say. So yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, and um 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 Janice. Yes. Your, your father's. I mean, uh, this was um. Um, um, John and, and um, Inez, they were related to the Thompsons. You, you remember Lurleen and no, you don't know them, but it was yeah, Dan Thompson. Yeah, she was my mother's friend, though. Huh? Yeah, remember, she, she lived with us for a minute when we were little, remember? Yeah. That was my mother's friend from Valdosta. Yeah, but that, but that was, um, um. That was in Cassie's family. John oh, Evans. Oh, okay. See, stuff we don't know, Ma. Write it down, okay? <laughs> I mean, I remember Lurleen I remember because she, because when she, because she lived with us for a minute, then she moved on to West Baltimore. She was here for a minute. Right. I remember that? Yeah, was the brother, she had a brother name was Evan Thompson. I don't remember her brother. I was too little. Well, that was Aunt Cass's people. Oh, really? Yeah. Good Lord. Good. I heard that all these years later. Yeah. Yeah, her mom was really good friends until she... But I re I remember when she passed away before mom. Yeah. Yeah, she passed away before mom. Anyway. All right, guys. Faith and Shamia. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I don't, I don't, I think we may not be able to get Tim and Mr. Eddie on, but uh, did anyone else have any, anything else to share? Did they, they didn't hear any of the conversation about him? I believe he might have, he, I think he would have been able well, to. Well, the, the Tim guy is still on, on here. He must be in voice only or listening only because his, his, his camera isn't on, I mean, his camera isn't on and he doesn't have a mic. So he must be just listening on his end. Maybe oh, because uh, he he called. He was doing no. I spoke to him. Mm -hmm. and okay. I, so I, he, I and he, was, I was, he was telling me about the 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 um, thing with all the pictures in, and he said he would save them. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. put them aside for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, on um, um, best ashes, he would save them for me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's still here. He just can't see us. We can't see him. Okay. Yeah, and I said I did text him the the number to call into the meeting. So, mm -hmm. um, so you know, uh, um, maybe there's some sort of technical difficulty there. Um, and when the, when the, when Wes and Father call call me, we be we be talking for like hours. <laughs> he, he, he be you know talking from memories too. Yeah. Uh, reminiscing, huh? Yeah. Um, oh, that's nice. That's nice, Auntie. Yeah, very nice, Mom. Yes. Very but you know, Aunt Geneva, um, Grandma loved her some Uncle Eddie. Yeah. She loved Uncle And he used to come by our house in Delray in his big bus. Yeah, he did drive a bus. Yeah, he drove, he drove the charter. 
And yeah, and, he used to come. And you and you and mother went to California. We sure there. did. Yeah. Yeah. We sure did. Yeah. Yeah. That's we were right. in California. We we, yeah. Well, Uncle um, Uncle Ed, Uncle Eddie, um, our best grandma, me and Wes. I think yeah. like, they were already there, and then me and grandma flew out. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Wesley and Hope, brother and sister. <laughs> I don't know why she wasn't already out there, huh? <laughs> so I didn't realize. So Wes lived out in California for a period of time. Yeah. All the three of them did. Mm -hmm. oh See, I think I remember oh, that too. Yeah, I don't remember how long they were they were in California. Was he stationed there? Why were they? Why? Why were um, Bess and Eddie in um, California? He was. A, I think he was a. He was a. He drove bus. I think he said he was a bus driver. Greyhound or something. Did we lose you, Weeby? No, I was trying to think. But I oh. think he was a. He, he was a, a bus driver there, and he said he worked for the post office. Okay. All right. I hope you, I didn't know you if you had met West Dad. Yeah, I met Say him. Again? Hmm? Say that again? Uh -huh. I, saw, I didn't realize that you had met West Dad. Yeah, I had oh, met him. Yes. He used to, uh -huh. Yeah, he used to come by to tonight quite often. Whenever he was I think he 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 I think he drove a charter bus. It wasn't a Greyhound bus, but I think it was charter bus. Mm -hmm. So anytime he, was. he was past Del Beach. He would always stop by two two nine. So yeah. you, when you were a little kid and you see this big bus coming down fifteen, it was like the coolest thing, you know. So we come out of the house. <laughs> you no, know, it, it was just it was, yeah, it was like the coolest thing. And uh, Grandma really liked it, so he would come by. Well, what happened was he would when he was passing by, and whoever chartered the bus, he wherever he dropped them off at. He would come and drive the bus on 229 on 15th Avenue. So he would come and park it and come into the house and visit and everything. So we all, yeah, we loved it when he would come by. It was the coolest yeah. thing. Yeah. Hey. Uncle Eddie. Uh -huh. Yeah, is. sure did. Okay. Yeah, we were little then. All I remember is them coming to Baltimore when we were little, when we was living on Patterson Park. And so I would have been probably maybe about eight or nine. Because mm. we were still living on Patterson Park. We moved off Patterson Park at 71. So I was still, you know, when I'm best and Uncle Eddie and, and um, came to Baltimore, I only, I only remember seeing them once or twice, and that was when we were living on Patterson Park. Jan uh, Janice. I don't remember, but I did yes, ma'am. You yes, remember we used to, you remember we used to live over there too? Well, this Deborah. You used to live with y'all in Baltimore, in Baltimore. That's Deborah who was talking with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this me, Auntie. I sound like Janice. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, I don't even remember that at all. Yeah, I I'm trying to recollect my recollect myself, but you would know, <laughs> Aunt Geneva. Let us know. Re refresh your memory. Auntie, was we on Patterson Park or we was on Permanent Place when y'all was staying with us? It must have been Permanent um, Place because I don't have no remembrance of Permanent Place at all. Just the talk. Yeah, from because you all well, saying. Well, we was on permanent place, Auntie Janice, Candy, and Junior wasn't born yet. It was just Charles and I on, per on, on, on permanent place. So you guys must have been here on permanent place. I think you was. Oh. But I know I know, the lady was mean, I'm telling you. Yes, yeah, she <laughs> was. <laughs> German Shepherds were the dogs back in those days. You know, there wasn't a whole bunch of breeding and all that stuff going on. But, but your mother like, could handle them, though. Oh yeah, she we be going. She we going on. All she has to do is tell her to shut up, and she hurts too. <laughs> <laughs> Knows where the days. Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh my 
goodness. It's just amazing. It is. Mm, yeah. Amazing. It's really fun. amazing. This man, yeah. man. It's like this was wonderful. This ago. just lets us know how much we miss each other and yes. I think that you know although we're doing this as a remembrance of Wesley it's yes. just telling all of us that we probably need to do this a little more often since we right. can do our family reunion Amen. we can do a family mm -hmm. Zoom call every six months every quarter every something yeah. so that yeah, we all can you know, stay in touch so mm -hmm. Faith and Shamia thank you so much yeah, and remember Wesley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so hopefully we can continue to do this and reconnect with each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Now, you know what I hated? I hate it wasn't we hadn't did something like this before he passed, you know. Right. And then That's we would know what was really going on with him, you know? Mm -hmm. So true. Canceling, off, canceling off Thanksgiving dinner Thanksgiving. together. Yeah, I heard that. And again. so the one lady was saying that you would rather miss one, you would you rather miss one miss one just to you know to be able to make the rest of them, you know. Right. That just really mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You, might have to, you might have to sit this one out. So yeah. you can be at the next one in the next year. You know what I mean? So right. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, make and, that call. Yeah. So, um, Shamia, did you want to say anything before we give uh, her mm -hmm. that Friday evening back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just happy that the family could come together just because I know a lot of us hadn't seen Wes in a long time. So we just thought it'd be a good idea just to have you know, everybody come together and share stories. Um, I don't know if I have any, you know, Wes was just always really cool. He was like the cool cousin. We always had um, good conversation. Um, uh, I remember when they used to come up to our house and also when uh, like uh, Aunt Bess hosted um, the family reunion in Atlanta. Uh, so I always just have, you know, sweet um, memories of him. So, you know, when he passed, hey. It was just it was just um hard to hear you know because we just haven't seen him in a in a while but these memories that everyone shared um just it, it made us feel you know closer to him yeah it really does mm -hmm. i didn't know that he played the guitar i didn't know that he made his own comics and that he um made made lots of songs so uh it's just just a reminder that we need to you know still stay in touch with each other mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. absolutely and and Tracy, um, I don't know if you're still there, but we're we're adopting you. <laughs> yes, you're forever a part of the family. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so if you're ever in New York and you want to visit, give give us a call. <laughs> yes, yes, and then we we appreciate your your stories and for hanging in there with us, and thank you to everyone who joined the call. It was. We had, I think, about 24, 25 people um, in here at one point, and, and that just mm -hmm. feels good that, you know, it in, of course, there are many, many other people that just couldn't make it, maybe had to work or doing whatever, but this is just, this just warms my heart to see all of you. I know everybody, I'm, just, I'm looking around at everybody's faces over these last two hours, and I think we all just needed that. I love you all. Thank you so much. Happy love birthday. Love you too, baby. Love you. Love everyone. Yes, love oh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, nice seeing everybody. Good to see. Obi, <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Close us out with a prayer. Oh, absolutely. Dear kind and gracious Father, we thank you, God, for this wonderful opportunity to remember Wes, our cousin. We thank you, dear God, that we all decided to come and be on the Zoom video, uh, uh, being committed to our family. We thank you, dear God, for our wonderful aunt, Aunt Geneva, our last uh, aunt that we have. Continue to bless her, continue to nourish her, continue to keep her spirit filled so she can, can share with us all the wonderful stories that she did today. I pray, God, that you take us all um, safely to our um, homes, and uh, we are at our homes, but our um, different destinies when we get off of the Zoom call, that we 
go in peace, that we remember each other and that we truly uh, get uh, together again on the Zoom call and share again. Heavenly Father, please remember all our ancestors that's gone before us. We ask that you continue to watch over us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray and we all say amen.